culture of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders is often missing from school lesson plans. Sarah McGrew reporting on a resolution from the Wisconsin Association of School Boards hopes to change just that. Do you remember having classes that were focused on AAPI history? Uh, my first touch with AAPI history was in college. I didn't learn about you know Asian American history or even um, Hmong history because I'm Hmong um, until I was in college. They're trying to change that for today's students. The AAPI Coalition of Wisconsin helped get a resolution passed to develop a curriculum and training around AAPI history and culture. The Wisconsin Association of School Boards is now expected to ask the state for funding to help. I think if you know um, a student's life experience, culture, food, holidays they celebrate, I mean, that really draws into their belonging and their uh, sense of identity. And although it's not required, the hope is that the majority of Wisconsin schools will pick it up. Some already have. In Eau Claire, they've got a full course in Hmong history and culture that they've run for four years already. But others can just fold in content in, their, in terms of their current courses like American history, because uh, AAPI are part of American history. Recent census data shows since 2010, the AAPI population in Wisconsin grew by 36%. AAPI have been in Wisconsin and contributing to our, uh, our culture and our economy for over 100 years. School lessons could potentially include things like the way different Asian cultures celebrate the Lunar New Year, or the history of how Hmong refugees ended up in the United States. The question that Asian Americans often get is like, where are you from? No, like, where are you really from? And I think if that was taught, um, that question would not be asked as much because you may have already known. And they say the benefits of this aren't just for AAPI students, but for all students. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.